guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a knife video for you. And today I've got something that is pretty spectacular. And I would submit probably one of the best things We Knives has done. And in fact, also one of the best expressions of its sort of design family, okay? And so let me let me try to sustain that argument through this video. I'm happy to have you disagree with me down in the comments. Uh, would love to hear that. Uh, but first, let me say, uh, most of the Wee Knives out there, I mean, there's lots of good ones and there's lots of pretty practical ones, but I think this is one of the most practical, right? It's not too flashy. It doesn't have about a bunch of fancy milling or fancy anodizing. It's just simple and attractive. And of course, it's a Ferrum Forge design, and it's sort of in the Archbishop Fortis, Mordax-ish type of genre here. Um, and, you know, they have done, you know, it, We Knives has built the, the Archbishop 2.0, the Fortis 2.0, the Crux. All right, so there's a number of We Knives that sort of have this flavor to them, but I like this one the best for a couple of reasons. In fact, uh, I even like this one a little more than the Protec Mordax button lock from uh, a little bit ago. Um, and, and, and mostly it's because I like the feel of this one in hand a little bit more, and the action on this is as satisfying as any of them, and it's, it's in fact very, very dialed in, as is just about everything. So I may as well, you know, I'll let the cat out of the bag here. I like this knife a whole lot. Obviously, I wouldn't be saying it's one of the best things we has done if I didn't. This will be a shoe-in for my, you know, top 10 knives of 2019 without question. Uh, there is only one little issue that I have with it, one little hiccup, if you will, and that is the weight. So let's let's get that out of the way right away. This is six ounces for a knife that's only a little over eight inches. So that's a that's a lot of weight for a fairly small knife. Um, this knife, so it may as well may as well show you here. Uh, there is no internal milling. All right, and we've got a big full titanium backspacer. So those two things are, are going to add quite a bit of weight to this. And we, if you're watching this and you're going to do, you know, do a Malice 2.0 and just mill this out internally. And, and then I could just rant and rave about how perfect this knife is, because I really do think apart from that, this is almost perfect. Okay. Let me, let me start off with size and weight and kind of run through all the things and, and try to convince you of my, my point here. Okay. So eight and three sixteenths overall, great size, three and a half inches on the blade, four and five eighths on the handle. Now for a knife of that size, it's got three and seven eighths inches of grip area, and that's not counting the choil. So tons of real estate. Again, even if you have very large hands, this is going to be fine. The other thing, and this is one of the things I like more than most of the knives that sort of come from this uh, Ferrum Forge We Collabs, um, this one is very, very filling in hand. It just feels a little better to me than uh, any of the others have, in fact. And so that's that's one of the big standout features to me is that grip area and uh, the overall hand fillingness of this knife is really, really good. So really, from size and weight perspective, I love everything about this other than the weight. And the weight is not the end of the world. It's only six ounces. It's not like it's 10 or 12 ounces and just impossible to carry. Uh, six ounces is not that bad, especially, you know, if you're wearing, I don't know, I wear like jeans, 5'11s. Uh, if I am wearing shorts, they're sort of the, the cargo shorts and so in all of those things I've carried this I don't have a big problem with it but I know that number that six ounces is going to put a few people off all right the other thing I can say when we're talking about how this carries in pocket is that uh, a nice nice contoured handle like this is a little more comfortable in pocket that's than something that's more squared off all right so there you go guys that's size weight and carry and that's really the only area that i'm going to have a little issue with and that's you know that's the six ounces otherwise this size weight and carry on this is fantastic uh, let's move on to something else that's fantastic which is this blade m390 steel beautiful satin finish from we multi-directional so you can see the grind lines kind of go this way and then that way i think that really adds a gorgeous effect to this blade. Nice and thin behind the edge. It's moderately thick blade stock. It's not crazy huge blade stock, but that high flat grind means that even that slightly thicker blade stock is not a problem. This slices so, so nicely. Tons of belly there. If it weren't for the fact that this has a pivot, uh, this would be a great sort of outdoor like skinning blade with all that belly there. 
but uh, with the pivot, it moves it a little more into the EDC category. But nonetheless, this blade is fantastic. The other thing I like is this this little fuller-ish thing here that Wii has done. Uh, one, it adds a bit of Wii flair to this knife, right? I, I don't think Ferrum Forge would be wanting to do this necessarily, but uh, Wii loves those kind of details, and it does allow for you to have an opening option for your thumb or to spidey flick, and that's really nice. And that'll kind of bring us to the action pretty naturally. And again, the action on this is exceptional. All right, and here's why. So first of all, I used to be, a, I used to have to complain sometimes that the, the uh, detent on Wii knives was a little soft, not so with this guy, very stiff detent, uh, really nice and snappy, highly satisfying and enjoyable. That really just pops into place and it's really, really nice. Um, but here's the thing, often on a knife that has that snappy detent, when you go to spidey flick it, it doesn't work well, but this works exceptionally well. It's just fantastic. It's at, it's every bit as satisfying to spidey flick this as it is to flip it with the flipper tab. And then you still have that option if you want to do sort of the slow roll, uh, you can open it up with your thumb. Uh, very, very smooth, very, very fast. The lock bar is easily accessible and comfortable. You know, if you're the guy that's sitting on your couch flipping this for, for you know, the full two hours of a movie, you're going to be just fine. Um, typical, you know, e e even maybe a little better than typical Wii action. So, uh, another, you know, so more points go to the Malice here. I really, so I love the blade. I love the action. It's really, really comfortable, really dialed in. And of course, then we've got this handle. Now the handle is available in um, a flame anodized finish or in this sort of blasted finish. And I like the blasted finish because I've had a few flame anodized knives and I like them. I do. I love the way they look. And a couple of you have commented, you know, oh yeah, you should have gone with the flame anodized. The thing that puts me off about the flame anodized knives, and this is has been my experience in all of the ones that I've owned, is I always feel like I have to be careful with them because the flame anno, I just feel like it shows wear a little more readily than something like this. So I'm always like, oh, do I want to put my knife down there? You know, I better be careful I don't bang it or bump it against anything. And I, I don't want to have to think about that all the time with my knives. And so for me, uh, it was a pretty obvious choice to go with, whoops, to go with the uh, blasted finish. By the way, I don't know, I think these are still in stock at White Mountain Knives, which is where I got this. You can use my discount code SHARPSTUFF to save you 10%. And while I'm saying that, earlier today, now I don't know exactly when this video is gonna post, but over on White Mountain Knives, they had a buy one, get one deal for um, two Kaiser knives, the, the Kaiser T1 and the Kaiser Sea Lion, both Yuli Henneke designs but 175 bucks for both, which is phenomenal. And I, I haven't cleared this with Justin, okay? So I don't know if you can use my, my discount code because that's such a good deal already. Uh, whether you can or not, okay, that's a great deal for a couple of great knives. So, uh, and if you can use my discount code, like you save yourself, I don't know, 1750, I think that's like 175 for both. Uh, so anyway, uh, go over there, use my discount code. You can use it to buy this, of course, or there's a couple of, of really good specials on there right now. And if you add an extra 10%, they become even that much better. All right, uh, hopefully I'm not throwing Justin under the bus or I'm not misleading you guys. <laughs> uh, don't, don't count too much on being able to use that discount code. Uh, but if you can, it's, it's an even better deal. If you can't, it's still fantastic. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the handle. We've been talking about the blasted finish. Uh, who cares about that? We already know it's not milled, so we won't gonna say much about that. But here's what I love. This is so hand filling and comfortable in my, my usual grip is the Sabre grip, but you know, in, in all the different grips that people may want to use here, this feels really nice. Now, the fact is, I'm pretty sure the only people who use all these grips are YouTubers who are showing you guys. Um, I'm pretty much a, a saber grip guy like 99% of the time. And I suspect most people are gonna be saber grip or hammer grip. And in both of those, it's very, very comfortable. So uh, ergonomics are just great. And that finish does actually add a bit of traction. So uh, in terms of retention in hand, it's pretty good as well.
So now that we've got all those sort of features out of the way, I think you understand why I enjoy this so much. But in case you're not fully convinced, let me let me make some comparisons here. So uh, let's uh, let's grab here's a Rat Model One. This is mostly for size. Everyone's going to be kind of familiar with the Rat Model One. Uh, let's grab a Parrot Two as well. Another knife that people are going to be pretty comfortable with in terms of getting an idea of how big this is. Having gotten those two out of the way, I want to throw one knife in here. Now this I'm actually going to make its own standalone video about. These two are really interesting knives to me because both of them are favorites from their respective companies. This may be my very favorite Wii knife ever, and this is absolutely my favorite Riot without a doubt. Uh, they have a lot of similarity, but they also have some differences. So I'm going to do a video comparing these side by side. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments down below what you might like to see happen there. But having gotten sort of the size part out and giving you that little preview of what's to come, uh, I guess actually this one's still more of a size comparison um, and also a value comparison. So uh, here's the Chris Reeve Knives in Kosi. Fantastic kni knife. One of my favorite sort of higher end pieces. Highly practical, highly functional, uh, which is one of the things I've been saying about this. The big difference, of course, making this a little more durable is going to be the lack of bearings in the pivot. Uh, the bearings do, you know, reduce maybe the, the utility of this a little. Uh, let's bring in one other knife while we're thinking about that. And both of these knives really serve a similar purpose. So the Arius is, is, you know, modern folding knife perfection. It really is. Everything that you want it to do, it just absolutely nails it. Uh, and, and so I love it for that reason. And it works really well as a comparison for that reason. Uh, but, okay, yes, this is better. Okay, there's no question. If you just, if, if I had to, if these were both, you know, sitting on a table and I had to pick up one to keep forever, I'm taking the Arius every single time. However, the difference in quality is so close. Okay, it's almost negligible. And for that negligible difference, you have to pay like $250, okay, or, you know, about $230, let's say. That, that's, a lot of money for very, very little improvement. Now, yes, there's some improvement, and yes, I love the Arius, and I think I love it for good reasons, but man, this is very, very, very nice. All right, nearly there. Let me bring in one last knife, and this will be an interesting, I wanna take just a minute or two to, uh, to think about these two knives. If you were to ask me what is the most practical user-oriented Wii knife, I would, this one would come to mind, but the weight reduces that just a little. Okay, beyond any question, if you just said which is the most utilitarian out of these two, this is it. All right, this one knife weighs a lot less. It has just as functional, perhaps a more functional blade because of the extra distance there. The ergonomics are easily every bit as comfortable. This is, it's almost like if someone said to, you know, Wee Knives, can you build, and actually the designer on this, I'm trying to think of his name, I can't come up with his name right now, but essentially it's like someone said, can you build the most practical, functional, high-end titanium frame lock possible? And this is what they made. Okay, it really truly is a, a, a fantastically functional folding knife. This is also highly functional, perhaps a little more attractive. And I will say, I find this to be a little nicer in terms of its, its design and its looks, and it connects with me just a little more than this. But there's no question that this is the more usable and carryable of the two knives. So I wanted to bring this one in just because when it comes to practical, carryable, usable Wii knives, you know, that's one of the areas they sometimes struggle with. But man, these two are very, very good exceptions to that little hiccup that we sometimes experiences. All right, let's get back to this knife in particular, and let me finish off by saying, yeah, I'm a huge fan of this knife. It is exceptionally well built. It is highly functional. It has all of the, the fidget factor and smoothness and cleanness and quality that you want from a high-end titanium frame lock, uh, from any high-end folding knife for that matter. Uh, everything is just dialed in. 
right? I love everything about this knife. The only hiccup that we've mentioned a couple times is that weight. But to me, that's not a big thing. Like six ounces is not a, a huge issue. And so, yeah, I can easily recommend this knife. Uh, I would even recommend it, go so far as to recommend it as probably the one Wii knife that if you're looking to try one, this is the one you want to try, okay? And, and... Man, even if you're looking to try a Ferrum Forge, this is a pretty nice option. Yeah, they have lots of things out there that are really, really good. And I, I like tons of Ferrum Forge knives and I love the work they do. Um, this one is, to me, stands out as one of my absolute favorites. So that's what I think of this knife. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'd love to hear your comments down below. Again, thanks for watching and we will talk to you soon.